Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's me, Chakisha of Her Lovely Plan. My voice sounds horrific. I have been battling this sinus infection for almost a week now and I almost did not do a plan with me just because I was feeling super bad um, but nevertheless I am here um, I probably won't talk as much I know a lot of you said that you all prefer, prefer me to talk through the videos talk you through um, but I'm not really sure how I feel about doing that just because in my head I sound like cutthroat murderer and I really don't want my voice to be forever remembered on a plan with me sounding like this. But I do feel better. Thanks to everyone that knew I was sick and sent me prayers of healing and things like that. I really appreciate you guys. But I want to go ahead and still do a plan with me. I came this close, maybe this close, <laughs> to not filming just because I don't like the way my voice sounds right now. But we're going to go ahead and get into this video. But first, I want to show you what I am using. So when I first started planning back in February of last year, I just went on this binge shopping on Etsy. And I found these cute stickers, which is actually a part of a kit from It's Just Paper Co. And once I got my TNs, I realized that I had a lot of kits. And I realized that a lot of times most TN planners use a lot of kits versus just random stickers. So I found this kit and I love the colors and I'm excited to use it. Um, of course, I won't be using these icon stickers because they're more personal like date night. And I don't need to um, notate date night in this particular planner because I don't use it as a personal planner. So if you wanna see how I set up my spread, for this week in my B6 Traveler's Notebook. Stick around. So against my better judgment, I decided to go ahead and do a voiceover. And I wanted to take the time to just kind of explain why I go through the extra effort of whiting out. Why don't I just get a blank um, printable or insert? Most of the time when you do get your inserts, it always comes with the days of the week on there. It just doesn't come with the date. So they come undated. Um, so the reason why I white the whole thing out is because I am trying to do better and use all of my stickers and since the kits come with date covers might as well use them because more than likely I won't use them later down the line because it's not going to be anything um, to match it with not less I you know become creative and do my own thing in which y'all know I don't have a problem with doing that but this just again is a way to stop keeping stickers or just lingering around and having scraps all over the place so you might as well use them it doesn't take that long to use the white out especially now that i got this good old tombow you know what i'm saying so i am knocking things out with the white out Now, I believe this kit was actually designed to be used in a Erin Condren or a classic size happy planner. So these washi um, strips that I'm using are a bit too long, but it's nothing that an X-Acto knife, pair of scissors um, can't fix. So it actually works out perfect because I'm able to create more use out of that one strip. Um, so what I'm doing now is just placing these strips on my hand just to make it easier so I don't have to keep put, you know, picking up the sheet, pulling the sticker off, putting it down, so forth and so on. So I found this trick 
and I've done it before but not to this extent but this is a trick that I saw another planner do on her YouTube video I can't remember her name but I've seen a lot of people do that so it just makes it easier um, when it's time to lay the smaller stickers you got everything right there on your hand and it pulls right up and you stick them down so this is like a double full box sticker and I'm really loving her. She is super cute. She is sitting on her bed, chilling, reading. Did I say chilly? <laughs> she's sitting on her bed, chilling, reading or whatever she's doing or checking out her plans for the week or for the day. We just want to say that's what she's doing. But these stickers are so cute. And I like um, that you can be able to use it to kind of block off a whole section, especially if you know that you're not going to be using a lot of white space and to create kind of a balance um, to your spread. Um, so sometimes I will do up and down, up and down. Sometimes I'll do straight across. But I love that I have a lot of versatility with this particular insert that I'm using right here. And again, this insert, I believe it's from Jacinia Plans, but I'm not quite sure. Um, but I know a couple of people had asked me what, where I got this particular insert from. So I'll make sure that I'll check and I'll leave the link in the description box for those that are interested. So I really like these half box sections at the bottom of this insert um, because it's a great place to put like things that you just need to remind yourself of quickly where you don't need a lot of white space. And I like to use the half box, well these are actual quarter box stickers to kind of cut the box in half. Um, that way, again, you still have enough white space to wipe to write something down see i can't talk and i sound crazy that's why i shouldn't have even done this voiceover but i like that it doesn't have a um i like that it gives you the option to have that half box because a lot of times i really don't end up using a full box in regards to writing the things that i need to do i just need enough room to write a couple of things down and then at the bottom, that's kind of like my run and reminder section. So I'm really, really, again, feeling this insert. So now I'm using this super cute vertical washi from Simply Gilded. Um, this is like a blush pink with the gold bows and it is so cute like when I ordered it I didn't even realize that it was vertical I just saw the color saw it was gold and I'm like oh I'm gonna get it um, and y'all I know I am dangerous with a pair of exacto knives but trust me I know what I'm doing I know I've cut myself up in the past couple of weeks but I'm trying to be more careful when I'm handling this blade. Um, so as you can see, I'm just using um, the washi at the bottom. And I got this idea from to turn it upside down from Shea Budgets because the washi rolls out to the left, which is kind of different. So um, I flipped the book, my insert upside down and apply the washi and makes it so much easier. easier. So this sticker right here is so cute and I really wanted to use it, but 
I didn't want to overkill because typically on Saturdays and Sundays, that's when I'm filming and I need more white space on those days. So I just decided to set it aside and save it for later. So right here, I really wanted to use these Icon YouTube stickers from H Rain Designs, but I realized that it's rose gold and it was just a little too rosy for this spread. So I decided to use the script um, stickers that she has um, in her shop that I have in gold to indicate the days that I need to film, edit, and upload. And I do apologize that you can't see what I'm really doing at the bottom. I have to be mindful that I need to, you know, keep on checking my monitor, making sure that I'm in frame. But that's all I'm doing here is just laying down the script stickers to tell me what I need to do each day in regards to my filming schedule. So what I'm doing now is adding these cute little foiled sticky note stickers that I got from the Style Planner. I thought this shade of pink um, and the sparkly from the foil would add a nice little pop to the spread as well as pull out some of those pinks that are in the deco stickers. Um, so what I'm going to do next after I fool with this piece of washi. I'm gonna make the washi on the side into like little flags by cutting little triangles out at the bottom edge of each piece of these washies. And then after that, I'll be done. Okay, you guys, so I'm finished my spread in my weekly um, insert. Um, in my B6 planner and this is for the week of January 28th through February 3rd can you believe that we are in a whole nother month already so I am really feeling this spread like I don't know y'all know I'm very creative but these kits are giving me life because they just they just are so just really quickly um, I know I said I wasn't gonna talk through the video but I went ahead and talked through it, um, but just to go back over what I did, um, as you can see, I used the deco stickers for this side, and I used these. Now, this pink, I like it because it has like an electric kind of look to it. I mean, just look, just look, look, look. Dee, 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 dee. So these came from the Style Planner. Let me show you this. Like this. this one came. They came from the Style Planner, and this is like a holographic. I think type of pink foiling but I just thought that that extra pop would just really set this spread off and I was going to use the icon stickers that I got from H Rain Designs but they were rose gold and it didn't go along with the gold um, bows for my Simply Gilded Washi and y'all check this out these are the vertical bows and look at the foiling and then these are the regular horizontal but just just look at the foiling on this this is super cute to me and i think this kit was probably for erin condren or a classic happy planner so of course the strips are a little bit longer um, than the size that i need for b6 but you know me i always make everything work out so if you like this week's spread you know what to do give me a big old thumbs up 
and as well if you haven't done so at this point make sure you subscribe to my channel as well click that notification bell so you never miss a live video on Sundays in which I didn't do one this Sunday because I was really sick um, but and also to miss any new videos that I upload and as well drop me a comment below let me know what you're feeling any questions or what you think I'll try to remember to always include the shops that I use in my spread and as well scroll through that description box there's a lot of goodies in there and if you are watching this simply no not simply gilded but villa beautiful are they're doing a pin release and they have some extra um kits from the january kit that i previously did a um unboxing to so and that's going to be on the 29th which is tuesday so when you see this make sure you put it on your calendars and use that discount code link that i have in my description box so you can use it when you go on and purchase some of those pins and the leftover kits so again if you like this give me a thumbs up and share this with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plans so until next time planner fam peace Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.